Fox 25 Sports Sunday, sponsored by Air Comfort Solutions. Now, here are Myron, Curtis, and Jim. First time in a couple weeks, everybody's uh, all in the house. Curtis, uh, off I'm by the, 80%. on the injured list. Still on the injured, but I'm playing through the pain. This is, I know this is ugly as sand, so I I've been, I've been in that. those, man. I know all about it, man. I, I feel for you. Try Bad. to focus on what these guys are saying and not this, because this is really distracting. I apologize. It's all right. Man. We're good. We're That's ready to go, man. you got there, man. I know. It's like, the, you know, it's like those football players that wear those big caps when they got a broken hand yeah. and they got this, they don't even look like they even have a hand. That's what Curtis well, he's got a lot of straps. And oh, I know. Got cushions, Velcro, straps, yeah. and all kinds of stuff. It takes oh, like an hour to get out. It of is. Thing. It's yeah. tough, man. Tough, tough, tough. Well, let's talk bowl season. Uh, it's done for Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. OU last night, uh, boy, they got dismantled by LSU last night. Lincoln Riley, let's get his thoughts. You know, I felt like if we played well, we were going to be able to stand in there and throw blow, you know, trade blows with them. Or it really did, and uh, and we did early, but. You know, when, when you start making mistakes, a combination of that and a talented team playing well, um, you you know, they go on a run like they do. It doesn't really, like, go away, honestly. You got to kind of live with this one. I got to go to sleep with the loss. So it's going to be a hard one. And this, this is not a good feeling. You know, this is a feeling I've never felt before. I um, mean, it hurts me in my heart, you know. You know, when I decided to come to this school, I told Coach Riley, I'm going to go win you a national championship, and, and I failed to do that. Um, it hurts me the most because usually when you come up short in something, you can come back and you, you can fix it. And I can't come back and fix it. I'll never play college football again. It's a tough locker room. Uh, I went to the breakout. I didn't go to uh, to that part. I went to the locker room and stuff, and it was a pretty tough locker room. They were obviously upset at how they played. Uh, Brendan Radley Hiles Buki apologized to his teammates at halftime for the mistake uh, that you know the play he made there that uh, kept a drive alive. But this is the first play of the game right here, where a player just got pushed back in Jalen Hurts' uh, face, and if, then of course here's the punt, sets up a 42-yard touchdown drive, and it was downhill after that. That was probably the disappointing thing. It was another slow start for Oklahoma in a game against a very good opponent. Jim, I felt watching the beginning of this game, I, I was thinking the exact same thing I was a year ago, the way the game started. Now, granted, they came back, they matched them with this, so that was a little bit different, but just the, the tone of the game at the very beginning, I thought, oh, boy, here we go. They're kind of hanging on. They're kind of hanging on, and then, they, you know, they matched them here, but then it was just a, I was just an embarrassing performance all the way around. Joe Burrow was fantastic. I think OU had a lot to do with that. He's a great player, though, but it's, I mean, I, I, it's, it's right up there. Guys, with the USC debacle, 55 to 19, this is as bad, probably even worse. Well, I mean, I've been covering OU for 27 years. This is by far the most embarrassing game that I've ever covered, uh, if you ask me. Um, I, look, if you guys remember, I thought OU was going to get beat fairly convincingly, so it's not. It didn't surprise me. It surprised me because it was so ugly. I thought it would be a better game. I yeah, thought, I, thought, I thought it'd be better than this. I mean, I, didn't, I certainly didn't predict this. But fellas, I mean. Lincoln Riley could talk about playing bad. They play well, they lose by two touchdowns. They're not near as good as these teams. I'm sorry, they're not. They're, the teams that are playing that are still alive right now are on, a, on, a, they're on, a, they're on their own little uh, pedestal up there, and then OU's on that second pedestal, and they got to figure out a way to get there. Now, listen, they had a great season. Five Big 12 championships in a row is unbelievable. But if they want to win a national championship, fellas, they got to figure out how the heck they're going to get better. Well, I, I, you know, it's just they're just not as good as these teams. Well, you needed last year's offense or Baker Mayfield's offense in this game to yeah. make this a game. Defensively, they are better, but still they've got some strides to make. Yeah. And they're the better in the Big 12. They're well, better. They're better. They yeah, are better. I agree with you. The recruiting in, in terms of the last couple of years yeah. has kind of picked up. Those guys got to start showing though, up next year. Interesting, though, Myron. They were ranked 10th in recruiting that just happened. And you know the top five schools? Oh, sure. It's, they, it's, they're it's, the, fi the five yeah. schools they're trying to get to. So sure. Sure. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I, look, a lot of people are going to say a lot of different things about this game and blah, blah, blah. I'm just telling you. They are not even close to LSU. I'm sorry, they're not even close to this team. Well, obviously the score told you that, but it, the, uh, the, the fact is this was a three-team season in college football because nobody else deserved deserve to be there, I don't think, more than no. OU did. No, no, OU deserved to be there. Right, I'm right, not right. saying they didn't. Well, and the thing is, I think 
Oregon gets there, they get beat by 40. If you put if you put another team, I don't just Utah, don't, yeah, yeah. Alabama again, they're not going to beat LSU. They're not going to beat LSU. So it's an embarrassing performance. Well, yes, they got to get better if they want to win a national championship. Defensively, that's where they really have to get better. It, it starts and deeper, deeper because they had all those guys out, and, and that showed. That depth showed big time. The lack. Well, of and that, and that's another thing. You know, every coach, whether it's high school, college, pro, they talk about. It's not just about you, it's about your team and everything else. And those guys getting suspended was not going to make up the difference in this game. But they're starters for a reason. And their, their life not being there certainly didn't help them. Well, it's so, just, I, mean, I just can't believe you, these guys got suspended, man. I mean, that's just, that's really sad. Year, though? Somebody gets suspended every year. I mean, from some Yeah, school, I know, but, but three guys getting suspended is a shame, Myron. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Um, but whatever, I mean. You know, and then you can't help that. Although Turner Yell had a tremendous year, he's a tremendous yeah. tackler, but he's not a great cover guy either. Um, they had no pressure on Burrow. No, so Ronnie they Kirkin's just not being there. I mean, well, they, and they this, and to me, that, and to like, me that's oh, where they got. The, it's in the line play. Like last year, they had the great offensive line. That's this, right. This year's offensive line not as good, but the defensive line you've got to be to get. They were pushing the pocket back in Jalen's face all night, yes. and you were just uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, no and doubt. So that's and. You know, maybe these guys they sign here, these JUCOs they sign, they've got uh, some guys coming in, will be those kinds of players that Oklahoma used to routinely put out there. But that's what you got to do. And uh, if you're going to get over that hump and compete for a national championship. LSU's offensive line was like OU's offensive yeah. line last year. I mean, they, they were, were really, 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 really good. They won the award as the best one in the country, just like OU did last year. Now, let me just say one real quick thing about Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is one of the greatest stories in the history of college football and will go down in history as that. And he had a tremendous year, but OU has got to go back to the quarterback that can throw the ball around the field. They, we watched LSU's offense, like you said, Myron, that's the offense that OU had with Baker Mayfield. That's the, I said last week on the radio that they're getting ready to play LSU. That was like Brandon Whedon's offense. That was like Patrick Mahone's offense. Well, you had OU's got to get receivers. back to that. You had multiple receivers because as much well, as Well, OU's Jamar got Chase, multiple receivers coming up, right? Well, yeah, they do. Yeah. That's, what, but that's what I'm saying. We talked about Jamar Chase, but it was actually Justin Jefferson who, exactly. had, who was the MVP. Absolutely. And that's what Oklahoma has And been the Marshall able. kid, and yeah. then Randy Moss's son is the tight end. I mean... It just they just have it all and that's what OU used to have and again Jalen Hurts just cannot He's not the guy that can drop back I, again. I'm not ripping on the kid He's yeah, an amazing, I mean, but, he was like, but he's just not that guy. Here's well, the, the offense was different because he's got different They talents. had to change it, yeah. but what I'm saying to you is though Myron they have to go back to what they are Well, they, will. they have that's to. why they have those guys Spencer right. Sanders or Rattler. Spencer Rattler Sanders yeah. Rattler comes in even ahead of Tanner Mordecai, which is an interesting Oh thing. man, Mordecai looked mad on the yeah, sideline, yeah. didn't he? Oh, <laughs> he's wow. Right. So so obviously I mean he's going to be the guy next year, right? They're gonna go back to that, but if you're telling me that Jalen Hurts shows up at your doorstep and he wants to play for you, Lincoln Riley's going to change not his in, You're not there without him. Yeah. Fellas, I'm not saying, okay, don't get me wrong on this. I'm not saying that it was the wrong move to get him. That's not what I'm saying. And he had a great season, and he's a great guy. Amazing story. I'm just he's a, saying. He's a really good player, too. Oh, I agree. But, he, but he's not a great thrower. He is not a great he's thrower. He's not that guy. Well, he's, he's not a great thrower. He's, he's not, he, no, he's not he was by he's... far the worst quarterback of the four that played yesterday. Not even close. Not even close. As, yeah, as a pro I mean, I'm yes. not talking about pro. I'm talking about throwing the yeah, football no, yeah, throwing when it needs to be thrown. Right, right. That's well, all I'm saying. Right. The, the, but I'll continue to say this. He threw for 30, well, 3,700 yards. I, listen, everyone, you and I are going to throw for 3,700 yards in OU's defense, in OU's offense. But Lincoln Riley is a that. genius. I don't know about that. I, I'm not here to beat the kid down. I'm just saying how, this is one of the stupidest plays I've ever seen a, a player well, make. That's what he's apologizing. Yeah, because that was. Well, he can apologize all you want. What the heck was he doing? I don't know. That's Why nice. didn't he go try to tackle the guy instead of trying to hit a dude in the head? But. Well, and that's another guy, Myron, that you take out of the lineup on defense. And again, when you're going up against the best offense by far that you've seen all year, and you're shorthanded, obviously it was a recipe for disaster. And a lot of us thought that that wouldn't be that big of a deal, and I think it was. And either way, those guys play, well, they all play, LSU still wins. This is a perfect game. example. He lobs this ball up right there. If, if he throws that ball on a line like yeah, it has he has to be thrown. They didn't bite on it either, though. I, most well, people I mean, bite I know, on that. But if he throws it, first of all, it took it was so slow. The play yeah. was so slow. But if he throw, if he knows that that safety's there and he, boom, he throws it, but he lobs it up. If he just throws a line drive, they, get, they, catch, they, get, they gain 25 yards. I mean, it's just not a real good throw right there. Yeah, but 
All I'm saying is, let's not make it like he went back to some of the wishbone quarterbacks. He got through 3,600 yards, yeah. a bunch of touchdowns. Everyone's going for the Heisman. Everybody, and everybody plays, can't do that. Every everyone that plays for Lincoln Riley uh, is going to throw for a bunch of if, yards. If he's not there, there's nothing against the quarterbacks there. They're not. They're not playing. You can time. stick up for him all you want. I'm not he's sick. not the answer. If he's not I'm the not, answer, all I'm and saying, we saw it yesterday. I'm saying if those other guys are quarterback, are they playing LSU? I just I think it's really yes sad no. that I can't say negative things I, about a guy who played at OU. I just asked you a question. Listen to me. I have no idea where they're going to be if if they go with the youngsters. I have no, no idea. No, they're not. Okay. They're well, not. First of all, you don't know that. I don't know that. What I do Austin know, Austin Kendall wouldn't it was, have left. What Austin Kendall? My gosh. Austin, Austin Kendall Austin, would not have left if. if and I don't think Austin Kendall would have won the job. I don't think Austin Kendall's any good. What I'm saying is, is that. You have to take the kid. I'm not saying that. But now that he's gone, you don't want him. If he was coming back next year, I wouldn't want him to play. I'm sorry. He's a great kid. He's a wonderful football no, player. He's, he's, he's not okay, the answer. You're not winning with him. You're not winning a national they championship. Won 12, they, they won 12 games with him. That's great. That's what they do every year. Every single year they do the same and thing. I think no matter he won how a national championship with Alabama. Um, Alabama's defense is what? Maybe a hundred times better than OU's defense? I'm, I'm just, I just think it's funny that I can't talk about the guy with what I'm saying. I'm, Why can't I do that? You're just shortchanging him. How am I shortchanging him? I said he was a great kid. You're, he had a great season. When you say he's somebody's a great the kid, just saying that he's not a very good player. I, what I, let's, you think he's going to play in the NFL? Every guy that plays in the NFL doesn't mean I'm just asking a question. I don't know. Can he, will he play in the NFL, he, in your I, opinion? I, I, he, he's going to get drafted, yeah. Yeah, he'll get drafted, what, maybe fifth round, something my point, like that? My point is this. Just because you don't play in the NFL doesn't mean you're not a good player. Listen, I'm just going to say the last thing, and I'll say it again, and, and, I, and I truly believe this. He was by far the worst quarterback of the four that played in it yesterday. And by so, far. So what about all the other quarterbacks who were watching? <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, it's ridiculous. Who it's cares not, about the quarterbacks that are saying, watching? You're, you're acting like he was some average you guy. You sound like you're his father. I'm Mike. not. I'm looking the at the guy. Dude is a, he has, the he, guy I was said, a Heisman Trophy runner-up? That's exactly right, because <laughs> he plays at OU and had unbelievable numbers. That's right. He's I mean, unbelievable. He was a Heisman Trophy runner-up. You know, if I talk about an OU player, I get it's obliterated not, all the time. Uh, no. All the time. It has to do with if the he's guy, a Heisman Trophy runner-up. You act like he was The last six weeks of the season, the guy was very average. Can we admit that? Can we admit Listen, that? Listen, I'm not saying turnovers all over the I'm place. I'm not saying he, all I'm saying is he was a good quarterback. He, he was a there. good. He's a really good quarterback. Not a good quarterback. Okay, he's a go. really that's good all, quarterback. That's all I want. I to said that all the time. No, I'm just saying you say he's, he's a good not guy. even close to what you need to win a national championship. You a, you, You're not winning a national championship with him. Well, guess what? He's you not. don't have to worry about it now. He's not here next year. Yeah. I, you're, I mean, you're right. You know what I do think, though? I think he could be a Taysom Hill in the N NBA, NFL. Maybe. I think of a team maybe. that brings him in, brings him off the bench, maybe does some things. I think he could do some with, things like that. And with the success of Lamar Jackson, way, people, people may reach on some guys that have some running and passing well, abilities. Well, and, well, because yeah. of the quarterbacks that run and pass now, they're all going to get drafted yeah, higher. I, listen, I hope the kid is a superstar. I'm just saying what I'm saying about him from watching him play. He's better than average, though. We'll hit a break. He's better than average, but that doesn't win national championship.